back. Man, all of tonight. I tell you, good to see God help us. Everyone out this way, I tell you, it's just a, been a wonderful blessing this week. Yeah. Amen. And I tell you, it's the strongest altar prayers that I've heard in a long, long time. Yeah. And I believe tonight when people get on God's altar and, and cry out to Him like that, yeah. 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 And I believe God answers. Yeah. 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 If you have your Bible, let's turn over uh, to the book of John, chapter 9. We'll begin reading third verse 35. John, chapter 9. Uh, verse 35, uh, I tell you, I appreciate all the Bless folks you. coming out this way this week, all the preachers come through. And, yeah. You know, one thing I've seen this week is uh, us, especially us as preachers, and we need to start remembering a little country yeah. church yeah. 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 throughout the land and country. Bless you. Some yeah. of them just a few funerals away from yeah. shutting the door. That's yeah. right. And I tell you, if the door on closed, you know, some might blame Somebody there, but I believe it's because the blame fall on all of us. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I tell you tonight, God has blessed us in this uh, part of the country, and He's yeah. blessed all over the world. Yeah. Uh, but I tell you, we still got freedom to go out and preach and yeah, worship yeah, the Lord. Yeah. And I see a day coming. I don't know how, many, how far off it'll be, uh, but I see a day coming that they're going to try to ban that. Yeah. Cut it out yeah. and stop it. And already we got a government uh, there that calls uh, uh, the Word of God. Uh, uh, hate speech doctrine. Yeah. And so tonight, it's 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 the love book tonight. It's the yeah. love of God. That's right. Man. And there, over in the book of Philippians, I believe it is, if I'm not mistaken, Apostle Paul wrote, he said, You see how large a letter I have written unto you of mine own hand. Yeah, man. Of course, we know by studying and uh, looking at Apostle Paul, uh, nearly blind is what we hear about him and read about him, study about him. Uh, a lot of times, as he uh, come time to write a letter, someone else might have pinned it down for him, but he put the words out there. Yeah. Yeah. They had to write it down. Yeah. Uh, but now spiritually speaking, you see how large a letter I have written unto you yeah. is what the word said. Yeah. Uh, that's a love letter from God tonight. Yeah. As I said earlier, uh, there, it's, uh, this Bible tonight, it's inspired. Yeah. Uh, they've been wanting to do away with it many years and tried to yeah. change it, and they are changing uh, a lot, but they'll never change this. Amen. Uh, Amen. And it's inspired by God. And, yeah. And as we said God the other night, when tonight. we sit down and read it or we hear it preached, yeah, teaching or whatever, ever how we hear it tonight, yeah. uh, it, it, it's it's like God Himself sitting down, oh, writing yes. unto you and I. Yeah. And, and when we hear it read tonight, you may hear it my voice tonight. When I read it to you tonight, it's the voice of God. It's the voice yeah. of my Savior. It's the yeah. voice yeah. of my yeah. Je uh, Jesus Christ, you, the Lord. Son of God, is speaking to you and I tonight. Yeah. Now, I didn't... Uh, I didn't reach up on a shelf today or last night and decide I'm going to preach this tonight. Yes. I've not done that in every night. These men do that. And, uh, they, they can order them, print them out, but I don't do that tonight. Uh, I've got to ask him. I've got to ask the master tonight. You're his tonight. Uh, you're his possession tonight. You're his bride tonight. And if you're born again, you're the wife of Jesus Christ. And I'm part of you as well. And so we, got to, we want to hear what he wants us to know tonight. But I tell you, we're living in a day and time if we could yeah. see off of there in the spiritual realm and see it'd be like a night of a fall, you no know, doubt of the souls that is pouring off in hell tonight. Yeah. And before this meeting's over and before we make it home tonight, there'll be another multitude yeah. that's died and will slip off into the bowels of hell. Amen. Yeah. And I tell you tonight, if you're here tonight and lost, and Brother Rocky mentioned the other day, other night there, you know. Uh, I tell you, I believe you got to work to get to hell. Yeah. Uh, I believe it's hard to go to hell tonight. Some yeah. like he said, if you want to go to hell, sit back and do nothing. Well, that's partly true. Uh, but I tell you, I uh, say any soul that is found in hell tonight, anyone that finds their way in, in that awful place, uh, you got to walk across. you got to walk across the shed blood of Amen. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yeah. You've got to climb yeah. across that Perfect. crucifixion. Yeah. You've got to wade through Amen. a river of tears that's been yeah. crying. And we'll have told me you're lost in thine soul. Yeah. And I tell you tonight, it, it's sad tonight that yeah. we're living in a Come time. On, Come on, Brady. And we meet Sunday after Sunday after Sunday and Wednesday. And I tell you, uh, uh, not many souls are being saved. Bless the Lord. And it's not God's fault. No, it ain't. And I can't blame these preachers. I can't blame the church. I just got to accept my, the fault that yeah. falls on me tonight. On me, so caught up day and time and. You know, with cattle and farming and all like that, Bless get my mind yeah. right up around that. 
I tell you, every time we go out into the pasture field or the woodland or wherever at, we all need to find a place yeah. and fall on our knees tonight yeah. Yeah. and begin yeah. to call upon the living God yeah. that's able right. to yeah. shake heaven and earth. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Able to shake that sin's heart. Yeah. Listen yeah. tonight. Yeah. This word of God tonight is like an old gospel play. Yeah. Now, yeah. looking back, when I was just a little boy, I'd see Listen. Daddy yeah. there he hits the old mule out and yeah. head in the field, yeah. and I remember getting in between. Him and that plow just holding on to that little cross spot. Yeah. He'd head out there and maybe that, that old ground down where we live, just old slate ground like that, but he, he'd set that old plow down and that old mule began to Bless dig in there and, and that old dirt go to rolling out. Yeah. Uh, and that's the way an old sinner's heart if we're ever, yeah, ever going to see them saved. I tell you, this gospel on, plow is going to have to plow through their heart. Yeah, and I tell you, and, 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 and with pain tonight, yeah. I'm not talking about tonight they need sickness or this to happen to them. I'm saying tonight when they lay down, uh, they need some chest yeah. pain there. Not a physical heart attack, but spiritually they're speaking there. And God begin to twist on that old heart. Yeah. Like this brother's testimony, getting out of the will of God. Yeah. There, but I tell you, God began to twist on that heart. Yeah. Yeah. I, I tell you, when you lay down at night, uh, there, that's a time there that God will speak to them a lot of time, but it's yeah. going to take there a mother down there yeah. that has spent time with Jesus, a mother there that has been yeah. there in labor, and Listen. there's going to have to be some labor pains. Amen. And the Bible said tonight when Zion prevails, yeah. she'll bring forth a bird tonight. Amen. But now we're looking Listen. there a lot of times just to meet at the house of God and we can leave and, and say, boy, we've had a good service. And I tell you tonight, uh, God's altar needs to fill up. I can't, yeah. find, I can't find in the Word of God nowhere, Brother Robert or Brother Rocky, there where it's wrong for a, wall, yeah. a woman to come on the altar and pray. Amen. I tell you, the church, the body, we need to come together tonight. And we need to use the altars of God tonight. Amen. And when we meet down at the house of God, the Amen. church, I tell you tonight, you'll see a lot better preaching. Amen. And you'll see them sinners Amen. somewhere that are running to the house of Amen. God. Yeah. Now, I tell you, I'm not no prophet tonight. But we look back in the past few years and see the forces land yeah, and countries come, come and it ain't turned around, it ain't changing. It's headed right down the same course. Yeah, and the yeah, Bible said tonight, on. a nation that friend against God, it will be turned into hell. Yeah. And I tell you, there's hell in America today, and the judgment of God is kind. Amen. Not only on this nation, but all the nations of the world. Amen. And I tell you, we need a mighty shake yes, down sir. to the house of God first of all in the hearts of God's people yeah. in my heart. And I tell you, these times, Bless you know, there that I stepped out, went to preach Brother Robert, yeah. and I stepped out of shame yeah. and went home because yeah. I know, yeah. I know why. Uh, there's such a war went on sometimes now. You can't help it when you've yeah. done everything. Right. You know to do it. You yeah. prayed and you scribbed and you studied and got up to preach the Word of God. The devil will fight yeah. with everything he's got most yeah. of all when it's a gospel message and there's yeah. a lost soul in the house. Oh, I tell you, that's a time that the church really needs to live to yeah. the preacher yeah. because the devil is fighting right in the sky. He's fighting right in there and trying to hinder yeah. the Word of God. Oh. But now here we're not looking at the Word of God in verse 35. And if you're here tonight, if you're lost and undone, and there ain't no set age on it. That's right. I don't know how, what, what uh, you know, only the lost, uh, these children, there's coming a time that they're going to know that they're lost. Yeah. And that's yeah. a time when you know you're lost and there's a fear of kinds about a devil's hell. Well, and maybe cool. you're going to go have to go. That's a time you need to be saved. And I tell you today, we're, we're living in a time, I believe I used to say years ago cool. when I was preaching, if you just take all the people in the world and put them in one place and scatter the church out in, in that number and Christ call them out you wouldn't miss them but now I'm going to say it this way if, you, if you'd say what, uh, what is called what they're calling themselves and claiming to be the church and set them in one place and then scatter the redeemed the born again out yeah. in the number of that multitude I tell you if I should take them out you wouldn't miss it you wouldn't miss them tonight and I tell you tonight there's places where that you can go and, and you know they'll go along with anything and yeah. teach anything they'll, they'll, they'll preach many ways and all like that. You can't find a place to set, but 
you go down to the house of God Thank where the true you. power of God's at, yeah. you can sit just yeah. about anywhere you want yeah. to. And yeah. right now here as we look in the Word of God, we see this is Jesus Himself. He put on flesh. He came. He is born of a virgin, Bless born of a woman, yeah. born under the law, and He came uh, just like God said He was going to do in Genesis. He just said, I'm going to send one. And He told the serpent, yeah. He told the devil, He told old Lucifer, yeah. He said, I'm sending one. And He and said, He's going to bust your head. He said, You'll bruise His heel, but He'll bust your head. And right there on the cross, yeah. I'm saying, Am I that old devil? He's carrying a, a sore around on His head there. And I tell you, all you got to do when He gets to riding, trying to get a on and beat on you. Come Just on, take girl. the word Amen. and punch that old sword. Come on. Amen. Come on. And tell him where is it going. Amen. But now he Amen. said, now Jesus heard that they had cast him out and when uh, had found him, he said unto him, doest thou believe on the Son of God? Now listen to this scripture, church. And I tell you many times I have sat in church and, and had to pray uh, while the preacher's up trying to get ready yeah. and read the scripture, and I said, Lord, please help me. Get my mind yeah. settled down. Yeah. That I can turn my ear to what? Yeah. He's got something. Yeah. You've got something for me tonight. Yeah. And help me. And the devil, yeah. uh, throw every thought of there, and yeah. you know, you'd be down there, uh, there uh, thinking about cattle and all like that. But I tell you tonight, let God set our mind yeah. and heart and soul oh, yeah. and focus upon Him tonight. Yeah. Now we're reading the scripture there. And he answered and said, Who is he, Lord, that I might believe on him? And Jesus said unto him, Thou hast both seen him, and it is he that talketh with thee. Yeah. And he said, Lord, I believe. And he worshipped him. Yeah. And Jesus said, For judgment I am come into this world, that they which see not might see, and that they which see might be made blind. And some of the Pharisees, and I tell you, you got just a, uh, many Pharisees set around uh, some churches there today yeah. as they did back in that day and time. And he said, uh, heard these words and said unto him, Are we blind also? Jesus said unto, unto them, If you were blind, you should have no sin. But now you say, We see, therefore your sin remains. Yeah. But now we just read all of that there to try to get a, a, a little bit of the picture there that, of what was happening on that day. And we see now, and you go back, and you have to read it yourself there from the, the verse 1 all the way down through this verse is the whole chapter Please because I can't get all the detail. My, my mind can't uh, uh, grasp it and hold on to it. And God knows what He wrote down here, but we find that, uh, uh, that this was going to take place for the glory of God. And we see now that how that Jesus had come into the place and, and the Bible tells us there that there was a man there that is born blind, a young man yeah. there that is born blind. And His disciples, they come and they had a question. Yeah. They wanted to know why this man was in this condition. Yeah. There's a lot of people tonight that are yeah. sick and they've got infirmities and weakness in their life and you could come and ask yeah. me yeah. why they're in this condition. I couldn't yeah. answer it. I'd probably get it wrong. I yeah. know yeah. Job down there when all of that come upon him, he had some friends come by and he said, I think in chapter yeah. 4, yeah. he said, now Job, we've got it all figured out. Yeah. We know why you're suffering and we know Blessing why you're going through these things. you got some hidden sin somewhere. Blessing and very much to him was that apparently you need to repent, Job. Yeah. But it wasn't for that. It was right. for the glory of God. Yeah. It was a man of God that had held yeah. on and, and he wouldn't change. He wouldn't back down even after God let Satan yeah. take and tear down everything yeah. they had. Yeah. And either yeah. after the funeral of her and them ten, uh, their children there, he still uh, yeah. held yeah. on yeah. and he wouldn't let go. But now they asked the question, said, why is it he in this condition? Yeah. Why was he Bless born blind? blind? Was it because that there his parents yeah. had sinned or because he had sinned? And I tell you, when you think about that, now listen, now I know that we're born in sin. You can see in sin yeah. and all like that. But there's little boys and little girls here tonight. They don't know what sin is. Right. And, and But the moment they come and realize what sin is, that's yeah. a time that they, uh, they need to start seeking Bless after yeah. Jesus. Christ. I had a little grandniece one time. They called me there to come over and pray with her. Uh, they said she's a uh, question lamb and she wants me to come over. And, and one of the first questions I asked her, a preacher, I said, do you know what sin is? Yeah. And she said, well, not really. I said, they'll 
come a time. Now I could have fell down right there Bless and I said, Now just pray like this prayer after Bless me uh, or anything like that. And I tell you, uh, I might have picked her too green. But now, yeah. now, now she's uh, since then, she's grown on up and, and a few more years on it. And she has confessed and, and, and to be saved. Yeah. Now, yeah. now that's yeah. between her and God. That's and right. I tell you tonight, but here tonight, uh, why was he born uh, uh, in this condition? Jesus said, Neither had sin. Now, of course, now we know yeah. uh, there that he said, All that sin comes short of the glory of God. But that wasn't what he's talking about. The question was, Who's sin? Why he's in this condition? And Jesus simply saying, He's not in this condition because of the sins of any. He's in this condition there for the glory of God. Yeah. And when you read through the whole chapter and begin to look at it, we see there that uh, there this young man, uh, there we first see him there, that uh, Jesus there, when he began to speak to him, uh, he asked him there, uh, there are different things. Help me, Lord, just a little bit. Yeah, God, yeah. But now, uh, Jesus, he said, now as long as he's in the world, he's a light of the world. He said, he said, I must work while it is day, the night cometh when no man can work. And I tell you, them three days there, and that day is on the cross. I believe the night hours come there, but I tell you, there was joy in the morning when he got up out of that tomb. And but now, church, we're in the night time there, and we're entered into that dry tree. And I tell you, but we need to get on business for God. And I tell you, he goes on, and Jesus spoke to him, and the Bible said that he got down, and he made clay there, and he anointed his eyes and there and he said now go he said now go and wash and the Bible said that he went and there and washed in the pool of Siloam yeah. and the Bible said when he went and washed the way he came again see yeah. we see there that Jesus gave him a command and we see there that if he was going to really see yeah. if he was really going to receive oh, God oh, had, oh, him, oh, oh, yeah. he had to be obeyed yeah. and that's a key down to the house of God Amen. if we're going to see our people saved if you're going to get saved uh, by dirt tonight, oh, you're going to have to be in obedience. Yeah, the Bible yeah, said tonight that right, obedience right. is better than salvation. Oh, yeah, yeah, I believe yeah. we live in a day and time, and I tell you, well, I love oh, good preaching, yeah. but I, and we need to preach, yeah. but I tell you, it's not God's will. Every time we meet the house of God, on, that right. the preacher needs to get up and preach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As a time the church yeah, needs to rise up yeah, yeah, yeah. and say, I want to tell you about a man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there he sent me, and he washed me, and he cleansed me, and cleaned me up. But now I'm going to recognize now. Now recognize this tonight, preach, uh, folks, in the scripture. Uh, here, this young man, he heard, he went, he saw, he could see, and then he came to believe. Now we see now that when he went and he rose up, Lord help us just a little bit. Uh, when he rose up, there uh, he could see. Now this man, uh, this young man, I don't know, he might have been. Uh, they said he was a babe, so he is uh, 12 years old or older yeah, yeah. Uh, there. And, and, and so uh, you just look at him down there. There he had heard a voice. He uh, began to speak to him. He felt somebody lay something yeah. there upon his eyes. And, and he told him to give him a command. They said, now go down there and wash. And the Bible said that he came again see. Now if it had been me, I know how I was yeah. when I first got saved. Hey, but now recognize this man still yeah. didn't know who Jesus was. Right. Uh, there's a lot sitting around the house of God. Yeah, they man. know about Jesus. Yeah, and they say it's yeah. people that can quote this book. Oh, they are a lot better than I can. But they Bless still do not know Jesus. Amen. I tell you, it's a, it's a personal wall. Yeah, uh, salvation right. is a personal yeah, salvation. Right. I tell you, right. when you can, there to know Him when He saves you. You know who He is right there. Yeah. Because He comes in a little. And the more you eat this book, you come to know Him more yeah. and more and more. Yeah. There's a song that says, I want to know more. They're about yeah. my Lord. I tell you, yeah. I want to know all about it. And I'm glad that God had given me something there and a place to go that I could worship and hear teaching. Yeah. And I could hear preaching. And I could hear there others yeah. that talk about the Word of God Come that on, we might Lord. know more and more about it. But then He came and didn't say it. And I tell you, listen. Listen now. There's a, a process to yeah. that lost soul. Isn't that a heart of that lost soul? Yeah. First of all, they got to hear the gospel. Yeah. He didn't say that. He didn't say they got to hear 
hear the same. Uh, they got to hear the word of God. And we know tonight, uh, there, in the book of Romans, uh, there Paul wrote there in one place. He said uh, they're about the preaching, how uh, they're co preach and all these things. He said, how can they hear without a preacher? And how can they preach except they be seen? And listen, tonight, church, I didn't make the choice to go out there and to preach God's word. You know, when he says it, he's got a purpose for everybody's life yeah. here in this world. And many you die out, how many are set in church, uh, God's church uh, there and, and, and don't know really what the Lord having to do. Yeah. You say, preacher, I'm there. Sometimes there I might be just to be an old time prayer warrior. Yeah. And they're going to the yeah. throne of God. Yeah. And they go in there and talk with him and say, Lord, there's a little preacher down there. Uh, God, did you call the priest? Would you please help him and go with him? I remember that when God called me, yeah. and I, and I, I run for about three years, yeah. and I got in a medical condition. I didn't run back to the hill holes of the world. I run up on the front seat down yeah. to the house of God. I tried to do everything that I could there to get out of preaching. But when he called me, I run to the altar, the old preacher, out of Irwin of Carter, yeah. many years ago. Uh, Brother James, I, maybe his last name I can. Uh, there ain't a little bit, a lot of preaching around these mountains over here. But uh, James Keys was his name. I tell you, I got in such a condition. And I tell you, if, if you don't, ain't not in obedience, you'll get in an awful condition. Yeah. 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 I tell you, Brother Rocky, after about two years, I said, Lord, I'm ready. I'm ready. Yeah. And I said it in church one, I believe it was on a Sunday night. I done laid my hand when they give the altar call. I know the first thing I need to do, get on my knees and ask Him to forgive me because I'd been rebellious and hadn't obeyed God. Yeah. And when, when I laid my hand out of the front seat to pull up, I done raised up. And another fella on the front seat, he went, so I just sat back down. And he come up and said, God called him to preach. That's between him and God tonight. And when I tell you tonight, I know who called me. Yeah. And I know who sent me tonight. And so I went. I, I, I kind of went by. I let loose a, a breath of relief. You know, I said, I, I ate my mind. I said, well, I thought it was me. And then, but it was me. And I tell you, the devil will do everything to get in the way of God's preachers and I, and to get in your way tonight. But now, I, I tell you, I went and I went. I, I wanted to, Brother Rocky. Yeah. I bet I could not get off that seat. Now that is like this chains wrapped around me. And I could not get up. I, I said, I got head off and stand. I can't go another day. I can't lay down another night. That without the joy of the Lord, they seemed to have been taken away. And I tell you, it went about a year. And that old preacher got up. And he began to preach over there in Acts where they cast Peter in prison and found him in a few chains. When he read it, I fell off. I felt it fall off. And I said, then, I said, I'm not going today. And I was an old time saint. Yeah. And I tell you, when they give that altar call, I didn't hesitate. Yeah. I didn't hold back. Bless I didn't fight it. I got it. And yeah. I went down to that altar. And I said, God, I'm yeah. sorry. I know what you yeah. got to do. Yeah. I stood up and I said, I need, I need the church to forgive me. Yeah. I said, God called me to preach. Yeah. And I done it. And I said, I better. Yeah. It is yeah. holding things back. Yeah. And it's glory be to God. God. Yes, this soul flesh don't want to go. It don't want to do it sometimes. Yeah. It'll get in the way. But it's sure good when the Lord is in, in a little country church like this, where people still know the power of God. That yeah, scripture we preached from last night as the second message there, that our scripture that God laid on our heart. Uh, the first one there, we preached about five minutes. I guess that might have been stressing. The second time he laid that scripture on our heart and the seas abide in the ship, you cannot be saved. And I haven't tried to preach that since then, brother. And I got up and I tell you that I could not do nothing. I had to step down. I left church and I said, God, I'm sorry. I said, I've missed my calling. But he assured me. He assured me. Listen, you young men, when God gives you something to do and calls you something to do, he ain't going to start you up on the mountain. He's going to start you down there in the valley Amen. so you can root Amen. in deep. And I tell you, and grow. And I tell you, it'll come. He knows it all tonight. I don't know anything. But I come like Paul, knowing nothing save Christ and Him crucified. Amen. And knowing this is the Word of God tonight. But now, young man, when he went down there, the devil, it didn't take him long to show up. 
And I tell you, let souls start being saved here yeah, at Mount Olive. Yeah, yeah. And it won't take him long to be yeah, saved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I tell you, listen, and you uh, uh, that members here or attend here tonight, I tell you, stay on the guard because yeah. the devil, uh, even though we're yeah, saved yeah. and born again, the devil can still use yeah, us. Yeah, yeah, we're yeah, still yeah. not real careful. Yeah. Hey, we need to want to know the Word of God. Yeah. And there's been times, I, uh, you know, some I said, well, God just laid it on my heart like this and to do this or say this and all like that. I uh, tell you, a lot of songs we sing tonight go contrary to the Word of God. Amen. Like, don't move that mountain. Amen. What did he tell us? He said, you can say, if you've got the faith, it's a grain of mustard That's seed. Right. You can Amen. say unto the mountain, there be thou removed. Yeah. And he said, it will obey. Amen. But he's not talking about these mountains and hills that we see, that mountain of sin that was in front of us and separated us uh, between uh, between us and God. And uh, it was too high. We couldn't climb up it. We couldn't reach up it. But on that prayer, when we wanted to ask him to save us, that nail scarred hand, reach down and save us. Reach down with one very Signed her name. Thank you, Lord. You, I've got an appointment tonight. And I tell you, uh, now, the Bible said tonight he was appointed to man once to die. Yeah, yeah, that, that's an easy scripture. Everybody knows that. Yeah. So why, why are we neglecting yeah. and pushing God's work aside and just going on and, and, and like our works more and yeah. more? Yeah. And I tell you, that's one thing that's wrong today. We got a lot of good people, Thank you. but a lot of good churches around. Yeah. But uh, we put self and we put our our need to do this yeah. yeah. God's. Yeah. Yeah. And I tell you, when it comes down to the end of the way, I'm realizing more and more, I wish I'd done yeah. things when I was younger. Yeah. Prayed more and read and studied more. We listen to you young folks. You read the Word of God yeah. while you're young. Yeah. And we all need to read the Word of God in Scripture that, that I can remember well, but I still got to go back and kind of refresh it. And now here... This young man, he, he made his journey and the Pharisees showed up. And they wanted to they wanted to question, say, hey, hey, wasn't this wasn't this that blind man down there begging? The other said, Well, it looks like him. And, I, and I'm sure there's those there said, No, I yeah. surely can't be. He was born blind. Yeah. Yeah. And the scripture said, it's, it's you know it's written, there ain't been none. It's born blind, never it's ever happened to any of them. But now I'd see this young man. And now he might have got yeah. excited when he first looked up and seen the blue sky and, yeah. and the beautiful yeah. trees and the flowers and all like that. But I believe there's a desire in his heart to get back and to see that in them yeah. hands and see yeah. that yeah. Yeah. there that yeah. 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 anointed them eyes there and put that clay in them yeah. there. And now I believe he was anxious to get back yeah. there and, and see. But the devil's uh, idea was to get in his way to keep yeah. him from making it back. Yeah. Hey, been a many. Now listen, the first time you anybody here tonight, the first time we heard the gospel yeah. and they explained in our heart, yeah. we didn't jump up with Satan right then. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it had to be water. Yes. It's got to be planted. It's got to be watered. That's, right. That's what the Apostle Paul said. He said, "Now one, he said, now I planted and another watered, but God can buy and give the increase." Amen. And there'll never be a soul Amen. saved to the house of God if there ain't been some planting and watering. Amen. Again, yeah. faith without works is dead. Amen. And I tell you now. Uh, we need to live a life out Chandra. It ain't uh, yeah. always God lays it on your heart to go talk to Him. But I tell you, we need to live a life that old sinner might see her yeah, life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When somewhere the devil gets him in prison yeah. down there, yeah, now, I've yeah. had them over the years come for all kind of ideals. There have been yeah. a few kind because yeah. they recognize and know that there's laws yeah. and needed a Savior. But I, yeah. I've had them come. Their family's in trouble. Their home's in her, trouble. There's in financial Lord. trouble. And they come. They want to start coming to church. They come to the altar. And yeah. a lot of them wanted to make a deal with God. Yeah. And I tell you tonight, it's not making a deal with God. Yeah. Many will say, God, if you'll help me out of this mess that I'm in, I'll do anything. There ain't but one way and one reason that you can come before Jesus Christ Amen. and come before God yeah. and say, Lord, I'm lost and I don't want to go to hell. I don't want to go to hell. It's the best life that I have ever known. And I've lived on both sides. I thought I was living it up years ago, but I tell you, I, I've never experienced nothing like God's salvation. We mentioned yeah, there the young man the other day he got off in college. He came and confessed to be saved. And he got off on college, got off on the field, and all like that. Bless and I you. asked him there, and one time he'd come back to church. I said, why would anybody take such a thing to take such a control of their mind yes. and put them in a prison, uh, a, a spiritual prison, and, and in a, a, a way of life there that they can't escape? 
He said, I have never felt nothing like that. I asked him again. I said, have you been saved? Yeah. Listen tonight. Listen. If you've truly been born again and drank of that living water, they ain't nothing. They ain't nothing can compare with that. Amen. And I tell you now, I, I'm where I'm at today, not by myself. Well, first yeah. of all, uh, I'm here and I'm doing what God calls me yeah. for the glory of for and by the glory of God. Yeah. But somebody had to have a burden for me. Amen. Somebody had to have a burden for you tonight. Yeah. My mom and dad. My dad was 54 years old before he sight. I wasn't raised in a, in a Christian home. Listen. I was raised there in, in, in a sinner's home. There's good moral people. Don't misunderstand. Yes. But I said, uh, around the beer and the liquor and all like that. And when I got a, a young man, that's the way I went. But somebody got a burden. Dad got saved. And yeah. Mom, she uh, rededicated up and they got in church. Yeah. And yeah. I tell you, they had a burden for their children. We preached the other night. They ain't many tonight got a burden for their own children. Amen. Amen. And they'll claim they're saved. I, no, I tell you, they're deceived tonight. That's what's wrong with them. God, if I, I tell you, if they truly had salvation yeah. and truly had uh, the blood and what yeah. was yeah. in their heart and soul, they'd have a burden for their children in their own home. Yeah, right. And they'd make their way down to the house of God. Yeah. And they'd be on the altar tonight and say, Lord, I've got uh, little boys. Yeah. I've got little girls. Yeah. Uh, they might not be old enough yeah. right now. But, but I know in a little while they're going to grow and they're aging fast. They're going to need a Savior. And Lord, help me to carry this burden till I can lay it down. Yeah. See, I'm saved and lay it down. Yeah. And I tell you, in our church, anytime, anytime a child of God meets down the house yeah. of God, and they stand on his shoulder back there on their seat and they call out the name of their loved one is lost. Yes. It's our duty not only to pray here, it's our duty to take up their burden yes. and bear one another's burden and carry it out there on our altars in the woodland or wherever they may be yes, and shed some tears on behalf of our brothers yes. and sisters in yes. Christ. And I tell you tonight, it's sad tonight there's so many that yes. sat down at the house of God and uh, they're uh, all they got on their mind. Is there material things? Yeah, yeah. And I tell you, I know people tonight, they'll look everywhere and they'll see everybody else is wrong. Yeah, and you get up and preach a word and you find theirs, yeah. their lips rolled out, they're puffed up, and, yeah. uh, and uh, call you devil and everything else. Yeah. Yeah. But I tell you tonight, yeah. it's still the priest's word of God. Yeah, and I know it all works together. Yeah. It all, we're one body tonight. Yeah. Oh, I may attend church over yonder victory. Uh, Brother Steve and them, but I tell you, I appreciate them folks. It's yeah, kind yeah, yeah, this way the many nights. Yeah. But I tell you tonight, church, this thing is winding up. Yeah. Uh, and God, now He's not going to shout out of heaven. Children said, I'm coming tomorrow. Yeah. Get ready, I'm coming. He's saying right now, get ready. Yeah. And He said, the message down there, uh, uh, Amos down there, a little, uh, little farmer's son. Hey, I tell you, He. He didn't come out of the bloodline of the preachers and all like that or the prophets. But God called him and said, uh, He said, Now, Amos, he's down in the southern ke uh, kingdom of Judah. He said, Now, I want you to go up there. And I want you to go up there to preach Israel. What was his message, preacher? When he got up there, his message was prepare to meet the living God. Amen. Prepare to meet God. Yeah. Yeah. And I tell you, we can be saved tonight and yeah. still Amen. not ready and prepared to meet Amen. God. Amen. And I tell you, there's things that need to be laid on this altar tonight. You said right. carry things around that you know God's not pleased with. You'll sit right here and you'll hinder and yeah. you'll get in the way of that lost yeah. soul. Yeah. 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 But they need to be some repent down to the house of God. I know it seems like we're getting back on the church tonight. When we read this tonight, I thought it's just going to go forth to someone's soul that's lost. And they might somebody say there, they ain't a lost and in the whole house. These little children, they're going to come up and they're going to find Amen. themselves lost. And it's not only a message that needs to be preached here. It's a, You need to bag it up and carry it home with you. Amen. Eat on it there and take and share it with somebody Amen. else. Amen. Somebody Amen. else. Can I tell you? You can talk. You can talk. I can talk to them sinner man and about cattle and all like that. And we'd be pretty good friends. Yes. But when you step out to name the name of Jesus, yeah, 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 yeah. till the war breaks out. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the devil don't, hey, I tell you, he's, he's, he's uh, nursed them all through life and guarded yeah. them all through life. And he sure don't want you and I going down there and yeah. spoiling his, his, his goods down there. Right. But now, this young man, this young man there, the, he began his journey back and, and they, they questioned his parents yeah. and They'd already said anybody that mentioned the name of Jesus is going to put him, be put out of the synagogue. Right. His mom and dad, they, 
They was afraid there to deal with it. They didn't want to shame or anything yeah. like that. Uh, they asked him, said, uh, you know, how, how was this young man healed? She said, I don't know. I, uh, she said, I know he's born blind. I know he's my son. But then he said, ask him. He's of a age. Yeah. He's of a age. Yeah. And here we come there. Uh, there and they said, uh, said, how did this thing happen? He said, I, a man called Jesus or a man anointed. My eyes were clay and told me to go wash. And I went and washed and I came see him. Yeah. I said, now that must be impossible. He said, all I know, he said, I know that he touched me. He said, I know that I was blind, and I know that I now see. A salvation that you know so tonight, you know who touched you, and you know, you know who forgives you, you know who lifts you up. And I tell you, he gives you the blessed assurance of yeah. true salvation, of yes, eternal life. Yeah. And those that preach in ain't they ever life yeah. or eternal, they yeah. ought to turn over there to yeah. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John and begin to read yeah. because Jesus Christ, he came, he suffered, he died on the cross, yeah. he drove an eternal salvation, he brought an yeah. everlasting life. Yeah. He said in John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave yeah. his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish yeah. but have everlasting life. In life. John 5 24. Verily, verily, I say unto thee, he that heareth my word and believeth on him that sent me hath everlasting life and shall not come into condemnation, but is passed himself a death unto life. That's the word. I, said, I want to share this with you. While that man, young man, is, is getting back to Jesus, let me, not long after I say, listen, if you're a young Christian, and now he can't unsave you, the devil can't. God won't. Uh, and I tell you, but he'll, he'll, he'll tire you up. Yeah. He'll mess your mind up. Yeah. Yeah. Now, when I was a boy going to church with Mama, they just uh, they preached. Uh, they preached there, the grave, and, and that's all there is, a place where you go in and rest. you got to go in and sleep. That's soul sleep, what they call it. But I tell you, I got to thinking about that. And the devil get in my bed at night and, yeah. and tell, I, I doze all quickly to sleep and it seemed like it just shaking and I'd see that old casket lid closing on me. Yeah. I got afraid. Yeah. I, I know now, I mean I know I, I know enough there that if I was dead I wouldn't have known it. Yeah. But I ain't going in the grave. Yeah. They're gonna lay my body down one day, but yeah. I ain't going how do you know, preacher? Yeah. I searched the scriptures and, yeah. and yeah. I went to the master. Yeah. yeah. And one day he asked me. He said, would you bury your children and them alive? I said, of course not, Lord. He said, no, neither will I. Amen. And the scripture, just two verses we quoted, it's everlasting. Amen. I'm going to lay this old body off. And Paul said, be absent the body, be present of the Lord. Amen. I believe as Paul said, I'm in a straight betwixt two, yeah, right. having a desire to part and be with Christ uh, there, and, and it'd be far better. Yes. But he told him, he said, I mean, it's needful that I remain here. They needed a preacher. But now this young man went. He, he went on down there. He realized that something took place in his life. And those people in that to say you won't know till you get there. Uh, I tell you, they, well, they, well, they'll find out they ain't got it. They ain't got it when they get there. But people's got their own ideals knowing about Christ but not knowing Christ. This young man knows something that happened to him. He, 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 he went. He was blind. But now he can see he first of all he heard he heard the voice yeah. and it's a voice of the son of god and i tell you any soul that is lost they're going to hear that voice not and it's going to come through the mouth of the preacher and how the church and how the witnesses are witness to it and that's the voice of the lord calling calling to come in before it is everlasting too late and now when he came back when he came back he faced the pharisees a battle went on but he realized he said i know i was blind but now i see." And he went back there, and now he would heard the voice. Yeah. Now he come see. Yeah. He come see. He heard. Yes. Now he come see. Yeah. Some understanding in it now. Jesus yeah. got in the devil's way and took the blindness off his heart. Yeah. Yeah. And that sinner, if he's ever going to be saved, good, he's going to have to do a work yeah. through his church yeah. and through his gospel right. tonight yeah. to get that blindness off of him. Yeah. That yeah. blindness that there's no God or or whatever stands in the way. Right. That blindness uh, that there's many ways to get there, get that out of the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Realize yeah. that there ain't but one way. Yeah, and I tell you, people are sitting in a place and listen to that, that old scene we mentioned there the other night. Yeah. Uh, we seen uh, uh, there, I think, Barbara Walters, I think. Uh, we just flipped through the channels and there he was. Uh, she asked him, said, uh, do you preach on hell? She, he said, no. I said, I don't preach on anything, do you? 
I tell you, yeah. it's our duty to warn the world tonight. Yeah. Amen. And if we don't, we're going to stand before Jesus Christ one day. Amen. We just pass them by and never call them out or, or live a life in front of them. The blood's going to stream from our fingers. Amen. 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 And I tell you tonight, one of this young man, he got on down there. Jesus heard that they'd cast him out, and when he found him, he said unto him. Now there's a lot of religion, and uh, a word that used to, when it's mentioned, we know what it means. Yeah. I, but they, the, the Muslims tonight, they're very religious. Yeah. A devout Muslim. Yeah. A devout Catholic. They're very religious tonight. If we be, what, yeah. if we go to the true God, and yeah. pray like they did, That's right. we see a lot of different yeah. things happen. Yeah. Right. We see souls saved. That's right. But now here we see. They cast him out, let him out away from the religious ideas. Uh, you got to do this, you got to do this. Listen to that salvation screen. Amen. Anybody Amen. try to add works to it or teach, you got to do this, you got to do that to get it, they're teaching false doctrine. Amen. 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 I tell you, as we've done said, you got to hear the gospel. That's right. And I can't work my way in it, it's a free gift. Amen. Christ done it all at the cross. Yes. He died and paid it all. He gave all his blood. And he bowed his head, and before he bowed his head, he said, Father, it's finished. Yeah, yeah. Right. And that meant there the work was done, it was yeah, paid. Yeah, and that's yeah. where I died at. Yeah. That's where I died, there at the cross through faith. And the time there that uh, when I accepted him, yeah. and they buried, baptized us there, yeah. that's where they buried that old man. Yeah. But I tell you, I've had that true baptism now. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, that baptism in the Holy Ghost, Amen. fire in the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Yeah. Richard, you speak with them unknown tongues, I speak with a new tongue tonight. Amen. And I know what a, this word tonight, to the center of the Bible said, if the gospel be hid tonight, it is hid to them that lost. Right. And I tell you tonight, they read it, read it, read it, and never get an understanding Amen. until the Holy Ghost teaches it. And you. I tell you, uh, for a sinner to sit down and try, and it's good, I'm glad they'll read it if they will. But now, for them to really sit down and try to get an understanding, it just well been writ in Mexico. Or Spanish or, or French or something like that. It's about as much out of it. But now when you read there in Acts chapter 2, a lot of them they made a denomination right off of one verse side. Right. Taken out of context. But when you went on through them sinners outside, yeah. there on the day of Pentecost didn't know Jesus Christ, we yeah. find that they all spoke speak with other languages. Yeah. Yeah. But then them in that upper room and Peter when he began to preach, yeah. I, I tell you they all understood. Yeah. In their own language. Yeah, right. yeah. What did they speak? They spoke the wonderful works of God. Amen. 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 The wonderful works of God. Yeah. 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 Right. And it is wonderful. Amen. I tell you, I tell you it, it's, a, it's a blessing to me tonight. They just give me strength get up here and try to make a noise for you. But I tell you now, this young man, as we read it, now listen tonight. I don't know the condition of your heart, but God didn't just send this to fill up a revival night, to entertain us or anything like that. But he said, now, do us thou believe the Son of God? The Son of God. Yeah. A question. Do you believe him tonight? Yes. I, I asked an old sinner. Uh, there, God brought him right up to my back door. He was needing a, a tool there. I didn't have it, but I know God brought him there. And I talked to him about salvation. I said, do you believe that Jesus died on that cross? Do you believe the Bible is the Word of God? He said, well, I... I partly believe it. I didn't get him married. No, no, no. Don't ever know. No. Don't know that he, he, he ever made it. Right. He's in God's hands tonight. But I tell you, hey, the Bible said tonight many times in the funeral, you know, we'll stop and, and we're not certain about the deceased. Yeah. And we'll, we'll stand up and say, well, he's in the hands of a merciful God. Yeah. I tell you, uh, Lord. he's in the hands of a just God and a merciful yeah. God. Yeah. But the Bible said, and what we really ought to tell them, it's a fearful thing to fall in the Amen. 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 It's a fearful thing. And I tell you tonight, we go, we go, and we have them funerals, and it's been a long time since I've had to go, and that's all right with me. And I tell you, but we always try to preach the truth. We preach there just like we would in a funeral. I mean, a, a, a revival of church, whatever. I didn't water it down. I didn't pat them on the back. I know it preaches hard sometimes. We normally do sometimes. But we still give them the Word of God. Yeah, right. But now he said, Now, do us thou believe on the Son of God? The Son of God. And listen, here is coming Jesus and this blind man. Now he's see. He's got a glimpse of it. And I, I, he didn't see, he didn't look and see no king. 
He didn't see one in rural apparel or a Pharisee or a priest or anything like that. Even though Jesus is king. And even though he is and ascended back into heaven, he's became our great high priest. But now he answered and said, Lord, who is he? Lord, that I might believe on him. He is wanting it, was he not? Lord, who is he that I might believe on him? Look at the Apostle Paul when, when he, he was a religious man, a very religious man. But it angered him. This Jesus angered him. The church angered him. Salvation angered him. The devil was in his heart. And he went and received letters to go forth and to have those arrested that claimed to be Christian and, 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 and even give his consent. Down there when they took Stephen down there to stone him. There because he preached of a deacon that preached there to the council. And he told him who Jesus was and told him about Moses and all those things, preached the word of God. And there but Paul was standing there there they cast their coats at his feet yeah. and he gave his consent when they stoned him there he heard there, uh, uh, Stephen begin to cry out he yeah, said yeah. I see Jesus standing yeah. on the right yeah. hand yeah. of God yeah. and I believe that pricked his heart yes, sir. it pricked his heart yeah. that he couldn't get away from him yeah. it cut through his heart right. and he was angry, he was mad he was ready to go kill yeah. as many as he could but God and no doubt some of them probably Saying, Lord, you're going to help us. That, that's a madman. Please yeah, yeah. kill that man. Yes. But God had other plans. Amen. I don't care how bad they are Amen. and how hopeless the situation seems, God can use them. Amen. Amen. He'll clean them up. Amen. He'll turn them around. Amen. And He can yeah. use them. But He said, Who is He that I might believe? Yeah. Paul riding with his others yeah. on the road to Damascus. And suddenly there was a great. Uh, 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 Lightning and, and a voice out of heaven. Yeah. Uh, he said they saw the light, but he said, I heard the voice. Yeah. And he cried, yeah. Jesus stood up here unto him in such a way that he blinded his eyes. Yeah. His natural sight, turning them around. Right. And he said, Saul, 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 why persecutest thou my church? He said, Who are you, Lord? Yeah. Who are they, Lord? He said, It's hard for thee to kick against the priest. He, he said, I am Jesus. The yeah. one that you persecute. That's right. He was going out to the church. But after he asked, who are you? And he told him who he was. Yeah. Then he said, Lord, what will you have me to do? Yeah. He called him Lord. Yeah. He yeah. called him Lord. Yeah. And I tell you, our lost people, I want to hear them stand on the altars of God yeah. and talk about him called Jesus. Yeah. And call him Lord. Yeah. And Master. Please, Lord and God saved him. Yeah. Blind Bartimaeus there by the wayside baby. Blind Blind, could not see. But he heard. Yeah. Yeah. Faith comes by hearing. Hearing by the Word of God. Yeah. Again, how can he hear without a preacher? And how can he preach except they be seen? Yeah. Preaching. We need our old time preaching. Yeah. Not our speakers. They make good Sunday school teachers. Yeah. But we need something with some fire in it. Yeah. We need something to come like a hammer. Yeah. Yeah. And hammer upon that old sinner's heart. Yeah. We needed the Word of God to come like the sword, like a sword, a sharp two-edged yeah. sword. Come on. Come on. And cut through that, that heart. Yeah. But now, he goes on. Lord, help just a little yeah. bit. He said, listen, Jesus said to them, Thou hast both seen, and there is he that talked with thee. Yeah. With thee. And one, I can't remember where was Philip or yeah. Thomas or who it was. He said, Lord, show us the Father, and this suffices. Yes. Yeah. And he said, he called him a name. He said, have I been with you so long a time that you know don't know these things? Yeah. He said, you've seen me, you've seen the Father. Amen. You don't Amen. separate the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost. Amen. I know the Father and I know the Son is seated over there in glory and on the throne, in the room of God and on the throne. But the Holy Ghost is, reaches out of glory and fills my heart and soul. Amen. 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 And I tell you, we're all together. You don't have one without the other. That's right. You don't get saved today and have to wait six months to get the Amen. 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 I tell you, the Bible said, Lord, help me just a little bit. Uh, the Bible said there in one place that if any man have not the Spirit of Christ, he is none of his. Amen. So now, their doctrines, you get it one time and uh, supposed to get saved and get the Holy Ghost six months baptism. That don't work, does it? No, it doesn't. That mean they'd be lost. Hey, yeah. I tell you, when when, when one asks, and I'm talking about I have a broken heart and a contrite spirit, Amen. he don't have to plead. No, he, don't. he don't have to beg. That's right. 
He said, Lord, save me. I'm lost. Yeah. And he's come God's way. Yeah. God will accept him. The Bible said he will in no wise turn him away. Yeah. And now tonight, we need to live. Listen, church, you ain't living like you ought to live out in the community. If you ain't what you need to be uh, there, according to the word yeah. of God, you better get it on y'all. Amen. 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 Because God, he, he sends, he warns, he That's calls. Right, yeah. And I tell you, if we won't heed to it, it might be over to a hospital. It might be down to funeral home. That's right. I tell you, I'll tell you this. And we're about ready to close, but a friend of mine over in Hawkins County lived over there, and I don't know where the church was there or not. He knew the people, the preacher, and all like that. They uh, somebody told him that his deacon was cheating on his wife. Yeah. Cheating on his wife. So he went and he asked him. He said, "Is this true?" He said, "No, they didn't do it." <laughs> Just a day or so after, he come home with his little girl, four years old. Driving down the road and pulling in the driveway, his little girl jumped out of the truck, ran straight across there the highway in front of a car and killed us. That was a broken man. Now this is my friend, and I, he was a man of God. Listen tonight, God will get our attention, yes, and He wept and cried, and, and something like that would be miserable, no doubt. But He said, if I'd only repented, if I'd only turned to God, yeah. my little girl would be alive. Mm -hmm. Listen tonight. You say, well, I don't believe God do something like that. Listen, that little, these little ones belong to Him. Hey, I tell you, tonight, fear. Fear of something else that God, even though I'm saved, I still fear Him. I'm not afraid of Him. I fear Him. I'm afraid when the devil tries to entice and show something so that it'll be all right. God will forgive you. There's a lot got that kind of religion tonight, too. Right. Say, so, well, you go on and do it, and God will forgive you. They don't realize there's a payday for it. Yeah, David, yeah. God forgive him. Yes, he did. But he told him, he said, there'll be a sword in your house yeah, yeah, yeah. all the days of your life. Yeah. And you go back and read about him and his children and what happened. You go back there and see how he died. He died hard. Yeah. But he's a man of God. Yeah. He's after God's own heart. Yeah, he but he reaped what he sowed. Yeah. God forgive him, but yet he had to bring that harvest in. Yeah. Right. And I tell you, but now here's this young man. He said, and he said, Lord, I believe, and he worshiped him. That's just a simple prayer, was it not? I believe. I believe, I believe. I believe that eunuch in the Word of God. Yeah. When Philip, he preached there in one place, and I think it is a deacon, about 5,000 souls saved. Yeah. And then the Spirit of God came and carried him down there in the desert. Yeah. There are no eunuch standing up on the chariot. And he would, God said, draw nigh to him. Yeah. He said, I understand of what you read us. He said, how can I accept some man should die? He asked a question. Is he, he was reading Isaiah chapter 53. He said, is he writing about, read, about himself or someone else? And the Bible said that he began at that same scripture. And he preached to him Jesus. Amen. Amen. Jesus, no other name under heaven whereby Amen. me must be saved. Except through him by the name of Jesus. Amen. Jesus. Amen. Jesus. Greatest Amen. name. Amen. Greatest name. The Son yeah. of God's ever come through Amen. God's creation. Right. Yeah. And I, I know him tonight. Yes. I know him. Yeah. Do you know him? Uh, I'm, I'm talking about knowing him. I'm talking about knowing him. When? Uh, when, when preachers, when, when you've tried your best and, and seem like time comes and just don't see you. The devil said you might as well just quit. Listen. Ain't no need of trying to go any further. People don't want to hear it no more. Listen. They don't like you. They don't like you yeah. preaching. Come on, My brothers just go home and sit down. Here's a friend to come sit down. Hey, man. Hey, man. Now sometimes we'll kind of get down and out like that and pouting and crying and cry baby stuff going on. He'll Bless just give us a good swift kick and say, get up and get back in the field. Right. Get back there behind that plow. Yeah, that's right. I tell you, God, the Bible tells us tonight that God's word won't go for it for us. Right. Right. Now there's a lot of uses in that. But when God sends it through a clean vessel, it accomplish what he seems to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it will not return unto him void. Right. Listen tonight. Uh, today, in an old priest, my, my first pastor, Paul Strong, he'd been long gone many years. But he's here in my home. Many times I go by his house and say, Brother Rock, leave the vice. Yeah. And I tell you, a horrible thing happened this time. People said, well, he died. No, he's accidental. He's accidental. And I sat with him when he wept and he cried in the night hours. Yeah. Wanting God to take him out. Wanting to die. Didn't want to leave. 
Didn't want to do nothing else. Didn't want to preach. But God worked. He didn't, that wound wasn't healed, but grace was sufficient. And he got on back up and preached. Now that's inspiration to me. That's inspiration to me. One pastor had died, and another one of my pastors died with cancer. In such horrible pain. Pain taking pain meds. But he said, Gary, please pray. He said, don't pray that God heal me. He said, pray that God let me die. Let me go home. Let me come home. And I tell you, we don't know what kind of condition we'll get in. We're saved. But we can steal this old flesh. It's touching us. It's, it's corrupting away. But one day, I'm going to lay off that so that's corrupt. And I'm going to put on incorruption. Yeah. I tell you, when that word, when the word comes out of glory yeah. through the mouth of Jesus Christ, yeah. <coughs> that same spirit yeah. that raised up Christ yeah. dwell, it dwells, he dwells in our mortal yeah. bodies yeah. Yeah. Right. And he'll raise us. Yeah. And I, I don't think it's going to be long. No, I don't think it's going to be a multitude. So I, I, I know I heard the a mom and talk about it and get ready and help all and memo and dad yeah. and the preachers. I, but I, I, I just saw it as a bunch of fairy tales. It ain't fairy tales to me. Amen. Listen, God's showed me Amen. things. I've seen things that if I tell you, you'd say you're crazy, preacher. But I know what he showed me. I know what he showed me. I tell you, that wall right there ain't nothing to me. I find he can walk right on through. I tell you, there's nothing gets in his way. You can't, you can't shut him up. He hold him back. Yeah. Jesus tonight. Jesus. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Do you know him tonight? Yeah, I know. This young man said, who, who art thou, Lord? And he revealed himself to him. Yeah. And he knew him. And the Bible said he yeah. worshipped him. That's That's right. We preached last night that salvation won't give people to church. Now I know there's a lot of people out yonder not able. If I live long enough, I'm going to come to a place I probably won't be able to get there. Definitely won't be able to drive. If I can go, it's going to have to be somewhere close. Be out there now, you know, if you can see it now. But now Jesus tonight, where is he? Do you know him? I'm talking about, do you sit down and talk with him? Does he talk with you? Or is he just something in your imagination? As a devil, I tell you, he's blinded so many and he's got it in their mind that they're all right, that they're safe. They got a fake and a false salvation that the devil has given out. Just to stand in the way, just to deceive. Jesus said, take heed, let no man deceive you. For yeah. many shall come in my name, saying that I own the Christ, yeah. and deceiving me. They'll use his name. But they won't get nowhere the blood and the cross and all those things. But I tell you, no tonight. So get a song. Get a song tonight. And stand on our feet. We've tried our best for the Lord.